Hey guys, in this video we're going to create uh, an illustration in Figma. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is uh, we're going on unsplash.com and uh, I'm going to simply have a look around for some photos and uh, basically I'm looking for a picture that I can use as a reference in order to create the illustration in the first place. And the type of photo that I'm looking for is some is a photo with uh, um, high level of uh, contrast. So basically it's going to make it easier for us uh, to create uh, the illustration and kind of like um, highlight the key points uh, of uh, the illustration. So maybe a photo around these lines could be uh, quite good since there's uh, quite a bit of contrast. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, let's create uh, this uh, illustration. So the very first thing that I'm gonna do is to just lower the opacity in uh, this photo and I'm going to lock the layer and uh, probably I'm going to create an artboard but uh, I'm going to do that uh, later on. So the very first thing that we want to do is to kind of create uh, the base for the base shapes for this illustration and um, so it's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, the very first thing that I'm doing is uh, simply trying to um, organize uh, the most basic shapes uh, and uh, it doesn't have to be perfect uh, but uh, um, I kind of like to um, be there uh, more or less. Uh, so I'm using the pen tool as you're seeing right now and uh, basically this is going to allow us to create uh, the base shapes uh, in a very fast uh, and uh, efficient way. And uh, one more thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show the keyboard right over here so you can see all the shortcuts or keyboard uh, elements which I'm using or whatnot. So I think this is a good uh, initial um, shape. So let's go ahead and also use uh, these, uh, uh, let's create this uh, stripes that he has on the t-shirt. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm literally like um, clicking with the left mouse button in order to create this, uh, these different shapes. So kind of a bit of manual work. Um, I know there's some softwares and some, some things out there that uh, are going to enable you to create like vector shapes in a, in a fast and efficient way. And uh, basically, this is going to enable us to work faster. Now, of course, as I'm recording uh, this uh, video, I have people at the door. So let me actually go ahead and uh, stop the video for one second and I'll be right back, guys. Right, I think we got the door situation sorted out. So let's go ahead and let's continue and create these uh, different lines. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's all good. So by the way, guys, if you have any comments or ideas for the next videos, uh, feel free to share them in the comment section. I'm kind of, uh, I wouldn't say I'm running um, dry of ideas, but I'm definitely looking for your feedback when it comes to uh, the next videos because uh, um, it's definitely useful and uh, I would, uh, that would be highly, highly appreciated. I'm uh, mainly doing this uh, set of videos for you guys. So it's uh, um, really important for me to be in sync with what you want, uh, what are your goals and uh, yeah, that, that would be uh, super useful so especially since in the last couple of months uh, i've been on and off from from youtube uh, and uh, i've been literally just uh, uh, grinding client work to be honest but now i'm looking to to get back more into it and uh, i know it's something that i said uh, a few times earlier on but uh, this time is for real i'm also looking to upgrade the video um, the, the camera and also maybe the microphone now because I think it's uh, good enough um, but definitely the video I received several comments from you guys saying that um, you know suggesting for upgrading the, the video 
and uh, that was uh, definitely something that I'm looking to do. Now for these guys, let's go a little bit uh, over here, let's um, go a little bit more granular since it's uh, just tiny, small little details. But um, yeah, and uh, I'm also looking to do some more freelance related videos and uh, stuff like that might be useful. So, okay, I think we're missing also this uh, um, this set over here. Let's create uh, a line and uh, I'm actually go also going to create uh, this uh, the section on the very left and uh, let's go ahead right here and uh, let's just uh, create the the connection between these two and i think we're in a good uh, we're in good shape and uh, also another thing that we're gonna do is we're going to create uh, the lines right here and uh, we're also going to just make one of these and two of these and uh, that would be enough i guess and let's also <coughs> create the lines on his left shoulder so like this and I think we're in good shape overall let's make this one as well okay perfect so I think we're good with the lower part of the body now let's go ahead and let's uh, create the top section so I'm just going to roughly try to go ahead and uh, um, create a vector shape of uh, his hair it's a little bit uh, um, all over the place so it's going to be not the easiest one to do but uh, definitely um, we're, getting, we're definitely going to tackle it and uh, I think overall this portrait is looking great so already have that uh, that good base uh, going on so it's going to make the um, the work uh, easier essentially so let's go ahead right here and uh, let's just try and, uh, and go for a shape around these lines okay perfect I'm actually wondering if um, keeping the beard as a separate layer and yes I think that's that's what I'm gonna do and uh, let's go over here let's create uh, the shapes uh, for the eyebrows so here's the first one here's the second one and uh, let's go ahead over here and let's create the other different shapes and uh, I think we're gonna go, we're gonna be in a good uh, position so let's create the shape for the for the eye right here and uh, I think uh, it's gonna be enough probably we're, we're going to, to need to tweak these uh, these are just or, or literally like base yeah the eyes are like super off whatever <laughs> we need to kind of like uh, adjust them later on nope not yet or actually I'm not even think I'm going to go with uh, with the eyes I'm just going to keep it uh, um, generic so without going into too much details because that's just something I don't really want to do for this uh, specific illustration. We just want to keep it a more high level, more like the 2D illustrations that you see around on, on the web quite often nowadays. So yeah, we just want to keep it um, as it is right now. And we're also going to need uh, 
just one single layer for the skin. So I'm just going to go like this and like this. And uh, this is going to make sense uh, in uh, just a moment, guys. So yeah, just, just bear with me. So, all right, I think we're in a, we're in a good shape. Um, I'm going to, to duplicate all of this. So I'm just going to unlock this, duplicate. I'm going to keep these, uh, these two copies and um, I'm going to lock the layer again, but probably just turn this down to like 10%. So I can always reference the picture on the left. And uh, now let's uh, go on for the fun part, which is uh, essentially filling up uh, all of these uh, layers. So it's going to be the first one I'm gonna work on. Then we have uh, this one right here. And uh, let's just use this color for now. And uh, let's go ahead right here. And let's just, uh, actually let's just go ahead and add the feel to each and every one of these elements. Yep, let's bring this one down a little bit. So using this shortcut to basically bring this uh, this layer below all the other layers since this was uh, the latest one we created. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's, there's definitely multiple things we can do and uh, approaches we can take with with this illustration um, I'm just kind of like doing something very rough right here and um, I think we need some more details when it comes to like the nose um, that's that's for sure so maybe let's go ahead and let's add some uh, details here And uh, guys, I'm no, I'm not a portrait artist by any means. So this is kind of like something I, I'm doing uh, on the go. And uh, yeah, without too much thinking about the details and you know whatnot. So all right, I think I'm gonna go with um, a slight of a different style. So in one of the previous uh, videos, we created this uh, right here. So I want to create uh, uh, the very same style here uh, when it comes to the colors and the backgrounds and all that. Uh, so in, in this case, I used uh, these uh, linear gradients. So basically, uh, this is the gradient, this is the, this is the second gradient, they're all 100%. Uh, and uh, basically, I'm creating these uh, different uh, um, color styles based uh, on the on the gradient so i'm going to just reuse some of these gradients and i'm going to use uh, option and command and just uh, copy these gradients right here as you can see right now and uh, this is pretty much getting uh, us uh, where we where we want to now one of the things that uh, I would uh, highly recommend you to, to pay attention to when it comes to the, to the gradients is to try and think like where the light is coming from or where you want to give like a sense of volume. I mean, some of the gradients might, might be good uh, um, in a vice, vice versa or in a, or the other way around. So, you know, it really depends on the type of uh, effect that you want to, uh, that you want to achieve. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I think I, I like it more the other way around. Um, let's just try also for the hair. Yeah, I think this one is, is looking quite good. Maybe let's just keep also the eyebrows as well. And uh, let's go ahead and add some, uh, some of these gradients to, the, um, to these right here. We're also going to add a stroke for the uh, for these eyeglasses, let's make them particularly dark. And I think this is uh, this is looking good overall. And uh, let's just try 
this gradient right here. Okay, cool. I'm quite uh, quite liking this this direction, and um, yeah, probably I'm actually wondering if it's worth just having uh, these guys, uh, like just having this as the as the actual uh, main orange color. Yeah, probably looking better. So cool. And then I'm just going to copy this uh, this background, and I'm going to get rid of this guy, and I'm going to copy the background below. And let's just bring it down. Cool. I'm actually wondering if the eyebrows are really uh, working, or if we just want to keep it like more more vague. Also, we fill the nose. Oh, no, maybe let's just keep the nose. <laughs> so let's go ahead here. Maybe let's try make this a little bit more around these lines and uh, also this I'm not too sure if it's really picking up like this this detail of the of the hair so oh, right yeah I guess this one is better so cool we got our final illustration and uh yeah guys thanks for watching if you have uh, any ideas on on next videos uh feel free to drop uh, a comment below always interested in hearing about that and uh, by the way if you're into you like it and uh, those kind of things i'm leaving a link below with uh, uh the most premium resources for ui kits you can also see some of the my ui kits which i built in in the past so if you're interested in that uh, feel free to check it out and um, apart from that um thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video